Welcome to the first series of Cider Cribs. I'm Simon from Hawks, and welcome to my humble abode here in the middle of London. We have the Shard, all right, that's about a mile away. The right hand side over there, you've got Tower Bridge, about 800 yards away. So we've got about 8,000 square foot of space here in the middle of London. It's probably the most central cidery in all the world per capita. All right, so we're really lucky to have this space. Come inside, let's have a look. Welcome to the tap room. We've got about 2,000 square foot in here, all right, which probably makes it one of the biggest cidery tap rooms in the whole of Europe. Um, on a Saturday, you would probably get about 1,000 people through the door here at least, all right? It's on a run of arches called the Bermondsey Beer Mile, we just happen to be a cidery that's right in the middle of it and is one of the biggest of it. So we're incredibly lucky to have the space. Just like cribs, they always show you their fridge, right? Let's have a look what's in our fridge. We've got all of our ciders up here. We've got Urban Orchard, Dead and Berry, Doom and Bloom, our ginger beer. And we've got ciders here from all over the world. We've got ciders here from the States, Angry Orchard, from Luxembourg, we've got Ramburn. We've got amazing Pilton's cider in here as well. So, you know, our fridge is really, 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 really stocked up. Let's have a look what's behind the bar. If I can count, we've probably got about 24 uh, taps here, which are keg and bib. Half the products, or over half the products, are our own products, which sometimes we just have uh, new stuff that we make that just is available through the tap room. We have guest ciders here as well. We've got one at the moment from a guy called Tom Oliver. Never heard of him. He's pretty good. He might catch on. Keep a lookout for him. So yeah, it's an amazing, amazing space um, to host cider events, uh, just to do what we can for cider in the middle of London. Let's go and have a look where the magic happens. So this is our cider press. It's an Amos kit, it's from Germany. It is definitely Spur Dung Dung Technique. Spur Dung Dung Technique. Spur Dung Dung Technique. It's got a, um, our conveyor here. We've got an eight rotary blade uh, belt press in there, which do about 1.2 tons an hour. The reason why it's 1.2 tons is that we essentially can press enough apples in a day here to fill up one of those bad boys at the back there, which is a 5,000 litre tank, 50 hec tank, depending on how you, uh, how, you, how you term it. So in a day, if we work hard enough, we can fill one of those. So let's go and have a look at the tanks. So, this is where the magic happens. These are our fermentation tanks. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Each are 50 hex uh, a piece. Fermentation for us at Hawks is normally about two weeks, all right? So we're not a traditional cider maker in the sense that we press once a year and we let it ferment and mature over the winter period. We bring in apples every single week, we press every week, and we're fermenting all the time, and we're either maturing in our barrels, which I'm gonna show you, or we're just converting the product into kegs, bottles, or cans, or whatever we need to. So, um, here you can see um, we've got some Braeburn, um, single variety, bubbling away nicely. Behind you, look, if you just turn around there quickly, we've got single varieties of cider apples, so yes, Traditionalists, we do press cider apples as well. We're not just all about the culinary. We've got Harry Masters, we've got Davenet, we've got Three Counties, we've got Michelin, we've got it all. You name it, the variety, we've got it here. Let's go and have a look at some barrels. This is my favorite part of the cider. Yeah, this is where things are bubbling away nicely. They're sitting in the side of single varieties are sitting in these barrels. How you doing? You okay? Good. Yeah, we can have a look on here. We've got all the list of all the single varieties and all the different barrels. We've got we've got whiskey, we've got uh bourbon, we've got sherry, we've got uh 
uh, red wine barrels, we've got white wine barrels. We're so fortunate to have 40 barrels here where we're just able to fill them full of cider and let the barrel soak it up and get that amazing oakiness that's, and, and the touch of flavour that's coming off all those different uh, alcohols that have been in the barrel. So this without doubt is my favourite part of the cidery. Right, let's go and have a look and have a cheeky bit of the cidery, come on. This is obviously not the cheeky bit, this is the boring bit. All right, so if you come through here, we've got uh, packing facilities for bottles, for bibs. Uh, we've got kegging facilities here. Um, yeah, we're really, really lucky that we're able to pretty much facilitate every sort of packing here in the facility in London. We've got the um, cider makers office up there. So look, let's go through to my second favorite place in the cidery, of course, is the toilet. Lovely little advert there for Hawks Cider Arma, July. Will it be on? Who knows? So look, if I brighten these up here, look, for brighten all these, you know, this is just a bit of a bit of fun in here. We've got our pink lady toilet. Um, lovely throne there for the ladies. We've got Pam's Delight. Uh, you come through here. We've got the we've got the cocks for the lads. And obviously in important times like this, we've got to be making sure that we're washing our hands all the time, all right? Well, anyway, I think it's about time, well, I've got to watch. I think it's about time you guys uh, got out of here, right? We need to start making some cider. So, uh, you know, let's be done with you, yeah? Thanks for popping down. We'll see you again soon. Keep two meters. Keep looking after yourself, look after each other. Now go on, get out, get out, get out. We'll see you on the other side. Look after yourself, bye.